Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play European Versailles 4 Make America British Again. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead, or a couple things I actually want to mention before we really get started in dealing with this coalition war. Uh, first things first, sorry that there was no part last week. I had recorded four parts for Stellaris and so I just did not have the time to squeeze in a recording for this part. So I'll make it, all, make it up to you all later. Um... I don't know when that'll be, obviously, but it's definitely not going to be this part. This is a nighttime recording that I need to do, and so, yeah, I'm not going to make it an hour long. Uh, the other thing I want to go ahead and mention real quick before we actually get started is that I went ahead and made a uh, Make America British Again design uh, that you can get it on shirts and various other items via uh, Redbubble. I have a link down to it in the description if you want to go ahead and pick it up. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter to me too much. If you do buy it, though, I do get uh, a bit of a commission on it. Because I do have a... Uh, I think I have it set to 10% uh, commission for every one of my designs, quote-unquote, that are sold. Uh, but yeah. So, link to it in the description if you decide you want to go ahead and pick it up. It's up to you. Like I said, it doesn't really matter too much, but it is appreciated because obviously, like I've said in the past, the channel doesn't get any ad revenue. And so as a result, the channel doesn't actually get anything to help support it. Uh, so if you do buy it, obviously you'll be helping to support the channel. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started and hopefully the game won't crash. And obviously, as you can tell, I've uh, rolled back to 1.24 because, you know what, I'm going to try and actually finish this series or at the very least run it for as long as I can before um, it becomes completely unplayable. Please tell me you can deal with that yourself, and I won't need to send the other army to deal with that. Well, I'm definitely going to have to send the other army there, because the uh, Turks, let's say the Ottomans, it's not the Ottomans. <laughs> they are the Turks. Uh, the Turks have arrived. My guys aren't exactly in uh, fighting condition, so I'm gonna say let's get the fuck out of Dodge as soon as possible. Because they do not feel like losing an army. Thank you very much. Now, honestly, I'm gonna hate fighting this coalition war. I don't think Sweden's really going to help me, nor do I think Argentina's going to help either. So I'm basically fighting it by myself. And uh, unlike in my Roman Victa series, I don't have the ability to just plop a fleet down right here in the uh, Sea of Marmara to focus all my attention into dealing with the European powers while letting the, I think it was the Seljuks, basically just occupy the entirety of Anatolia until I was able to force a white peace via beating the crap out of the Europeans. Uh, Cause yeah, that's basically how my uh, strategy worked there when I had to deal with coalition wars. And uh, yeah, sadly I can't obviously peace out any of these guys. So like I said, this is gonna be annoying. And I don't think I'll really be able to focus on trying to do damage to their military. I'm mostly just going to have to hope I can siege enough provinces quickly enough to make them be willing to peace out, which I may be able to do, uh, especially if I could take their capital. I am getting ticking war score right now, which is helping, um, but it only helps so much. Yeah, 
they've got a much larger navy than me as well. Uh, that's mostly just due to combined might. Not so much that they've got a better navy, it's just they got so many more people in it. Uh, yeah. Um, which one of these is our capital? You are. If I can take Ethiopia's capital, that should help quite a bit. And if I can avoid getting into a fight and losing, that'll also help. Oh, I completely forgot about you. If the Turks can uh, take as much as they want, I'm gonna just sorta make my way down to the Ethiopian capital. And hope that seizing that will do me a whole lot of good. Oh, okay, your borders do actually touch. I was, they, they didn't look like they did, though. But apparently they do, so whatever. If you don't mind, go kill, turn around and kill that guy. Wait for them to get locked in. Although they are sending a ton of troops over here. Which is not something I'm looking forward to dealing with. Be life their capital. And of course them being able to take pro or them taking provinces from me is also gonna make them a little bit less willing to accept peace. Uh, I do have backup coming, but they're not gonna arrive in time. Right now, okay, good. Am I still getting the superiority? I am. Wonderful. I can gain 23 more. That's nowhere near enough. Okay, there's their capital, but that doesn't mean anything. Apparently. Or at least it's worth s such a small amount. Israeli army. Okay, apparently my troops are not ready to deal with that at all. I'm a little confused as to how, but okay, game. Complete crap there, or something. That's something I can think of. 
Uh, am I getting the penalty as a result of lacking nuclear weapons? Yes, I am. So, construct more nukes, because apparently it's needed. Ah, uh, you're not quite running far enough away. Which one's the bigger army? January 12th? Okay, my guys will get there before they can leave. Swedish troops. I wasn't actually expecting you guys to come. But you know what? I won't complain. Get the hell out of there. safe so uh, go into this port get on the ships and uh, get on the island oh shit I didn't realize that they had uh, snuck up here apparently you know game you could have done a better job of telling me the UAE decided to piss off to southern England I'm sure you could have told me that. Because I don't think you ever told me somebody had sieged Wessex. I mean, maybe you did, I just didn't realize it, but I'm fairly certain you didn't. Because I think that's the kind of thing that I would have definitely noticed. deal with the Algerians. Not that it matters because I can't piece them out. It'd be great if I could. I do wish I could piece them out, but it's a coalition war, so I'm shit of luck. I win enough battles. Uh, is there an ongoing battle? Ethiopia is making gains. Um, I mean, I guess they technically are because you've got literally no connection. And it'd be great if this uh, 56k total stack would actually, you know, do something useful besides stand around Algeria. Don't need any help with Algeria. Yes, it takes forever to beat them, but I can easily deal with Algeria myself game. Your 
liking a leader. Let's get you a leader. Did my army of professionalism drop? Oh no, I just got higher army professionalism from hiring a leader. I didn't realize that, that happened. Have I just never noticed that in the past? It must be the case. Now if, uh, wonderful allies, the Swedes, would help me out in dealing with the Turks, that'd be wonderful. And those are really the threat, honestly, is the Turks. The Ethiopians don't seem to be that big of a deal. Israel wants to take the Suez. That sure as hell ain't gonna happen. Okay. So, out of curiosity, how does your army fare? Uh, pretty good, actually. You know, I could stand to add more uh, cannons to my armies. Technically, you should try, when possible, uh, to have your cannons equal your uh, combat width. To my knowledge, is sort of what you want to shoot for, if it's theoretically possible. Normally it isn't, because cannons are expensive. But with this mod, yeah, it's not normally that big of a deal once you have a decent sized empire. Okay, you don't feel as though you're making any gains anymore. I assume it's just because you took a number of provinces in a short span of time. And now that you've lost some of these. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Uh, where's the fort? Oh, we don't have the fort. The Egyptians still got to keep their damn fort. Let's pull back. Because we're not going to be able to deal with that. Most definitely. Okay, uh, about 30 war score. You got that, right, Sweden? No, you don't. Um, I assume it's because you're defending a fort that's occupied. You almost won that, though. I will note that you almost had it. Okay, I need the two of you to stick together. Way too many troops. You go back there. Seriously? Not the time for Egyptian separatists game. Also, Egypt, or what's going on with you? Why do you have those guys clearly shooting as if they're fighting somebody? You're not in a war. Oh, are you doing drilling with them? Okay, okay, you're doing drilling with them, that's why. That makes sense then. Still gonna have to f defeat some other armies and siege back provinces. Or because, you know, they're focused on sieging my stuff, I guess I could try and siege their stuff. You know what? Let's try that. Let's try and siege some Israeli stuff. It shouldn't be too hard to siege Israel. because they're focused on other crap. Oh, okay. 
Do you feel like you're making gains again? Yes, you do, that's why. Take those. Oh, they just took Northumberland. You know, that's probably part of the issue here is that they're able to take Northumberland stuff. It's not much I can do to stop them, all things considered. I've only got one army up here. You know, it's really not designed for the whole fighting thing. <laughs> Especially for a real war. stuff back. God, having Iraq and Syria that have actually been able to expand is... What? what? Oh, you. Okay. I mean, we kind of fucking knew that was going to happen, game. I could have told you that. I was hoping that they would focus on sieging stuff back and ignore me, but that obviously didn't happen. Oh good, you took serious capital. You don't feel like you're making gains anymore, wonderful. Oh no, you go there. Selected the wrong guy. bigger shit to deal with. I mean, we're gonna win this, if anything, just because we're solely gonna force them to f take everything if they want to take anything. great for us. I do wish this was Hoi though sometimes so that I could take the coastal provinces and cut off supply. See if you guys could take the fort back that would be grand but I know you can't. to our stuff here. Oh, we lost the superiority, apparently. Game. Quit it. Don't got time to deal with that shit. Oh, 
looks like we got the superiority back with that. Wonderful. Yes, I know, game. There's a lot of emigration going on. I do not care, though. I don't know what the hell Sweden's doing. But they've decided to go off and do their own thing. split into two parts. Oh, thanks for taking that. Doesn't really change much though. Honestly, I mostly just need to siege the forts. If I can siege my forts back, I could take back a number of provinces with relative ease. You know what? Fuck it. Get us an admiral. I don't generally bother with them, though. But I'll make an exception this one time because he might actually be useful against a, a decent-sized Algerian fleet. Thank you for finally sieging that Fort. Now, of course, this is going to drain pretty much all of our manpower. It's already all gone, in fact. We're not going to get it back anytime soon. Oh, there, in fact. Yes, I know, again, and all this immigration isn't helping either. Oh, did we just lose the superiority? We did. Go crush them. You guys can stop emigrating. Please. Don't exactly have time to deal with it. That wasn't enough, really. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, those guys look like they just went through two provinces in a matter of moments. I'm gonna have to call bull on that. Because you're not supposed to be able to do that. Blockade over there. Actually, uh, yeah, no, blockade over there. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Go here. Help our troops. I still have Ethiopia's capital. Wait for them to get locked in. Oh, don't bother there, actually. Where did we lose? Don't care for any of these guys, I'll hire that guy temporarily. What happened? We lost something somewhere, I'm not sure where. Oh, I'm assuming, oh, it was you. Of course you fucking lost. I'm not surprised, you're not gonna be getting any troops back. 
Not a surprise you lost. Ethiopia's making gains. The fuck is Sweden doing? Okay, Sweden's helping. I would love it if Algeria could send even just a small army over. What are you doing, Russia? Why do you need military access through me? Oh, you're fighting the Turks. How does military access through me benefit you at all there? Might I ask? Now, in theory, shouldn't, you know, Turkey be saying, hey, Russia's definitely going to be taking land from us. We should probably send our troops back to Turkey to, you know, defend it from the Russians. Because I sure as hell ain't going to take anything from the Turks. They're too fucking far away. But no, 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 no. The game is going to say, let's go ahead and focus on the player because that's how the AI is designed. To always focus on the player. Even when there's a bigger threat, i.e. Russia right there declaring war on you to take your stuff. I ain't taking your stuff. Not with the way this war is going. Hell, I normally don't take anything in coalition wars either. It's just not generally worth it in my opinion. Oh, see what the f why? Why uh, why would you turn that army around Turkey? Russia has full manpower. An army of uh oh, they're right there at the top. Oh, uh 443,417. Let's just round it up to 445,000 cuz why not? Um and you're gonna turn a army around the only army you have up in this area as far as i can see at least to deal with one of my armies i'm guessing i don't think that's the smartest decision you could make turkey i really fucking don't i think the smartest decision you could make would be to go and deal with the russians because guess who's trying to steal your shit it ain't me Yes, I do get annoyed with uh, Paradox games sometimes because the AI does shit that makes no fucking sense compared to a player. Okay, because most players in the situation Turkey has found itself in would likely go and dedicate forces to a war that has been declared upon it uh, rather than a coalition war that they probably didn't really care to be a part of they just kind of got dragged along because that's the way coalition wars work in this game i mean guys i'm gonna keep this war going literally until i win because the only way you're going to win is if you take all of my stuff. And, well, I don't quite see that happening anytime soon. So you need to get to 100% war score on your end for me to even consider making peace. Fucking Turkey's gonna focus on. Oh my god. How the fuck is Russia losing against Turkey, who has dedicated its entire fucking army to me? Uh, 
I swear to God, this game makes no sense sometimes. Russia should be just waltzing into Turkey without a care in the world. Here, I don't know if that gives you access to walk through my occupied territory, but if it does, go ahead, do it. Oh, you're sieging that for that's why they're standing there. I was hoping that they were, you know, plenty to come into Syria to beat the crap out of the Turks. But of course it's not what they're planning to do. Why are you guys taking two different routes? Makes no sense, but whatever. I may not have the manpower, but I will continue to fight this. Again, there is nothing you can do to stop me. What are you doing? No, Sweden, go and continue taking back my fucking provinces. Don't turn around to try and fight the Turks. It ain't gonna work out. Okay, you're gonna go and deal with uh, the UAE. Oh, there we go. And now we have superiority again. Wonderful. Still a long ways off from being able to get a white piece. And there's really nothing I can do to speed that up really is left basically to the Swedes to use whatever armies they brought over here wisely. Although the my Moroccan vassals sieging back provinces is helpful to a degree. can happen eventually you know it just would have been wonderful if the Russians had decided to fight them earlier and because of that now we have lost the superiority so I'm gonna have to go and beat the crap out of a couple of smaller armies or something or maybe the Swedes can do it for me if they're feeling generous go over there I need you to kill that walk straight there and you see now you're gonna have to deal with the Israeli army that's gonna beat the shit out of you won that if the Israelis hadn't come. Oh, you won it still, somehow. That is a fucking miracle, to say the least. But now Ethiopia feels like they're making gains again.
and so they are now uninterested in making peace. Construct nukes, get rid of the war exhaustion. Don't have time to deal with it. Need them to feel like they're not making gains. There's really not much I can do to deal with that. Because they are really chasing after me. Best I can do is just hope to try and take as much of these provinces back as I can as I run in the opposite direction. You all run there. Okay, we still have the superiority, but not gonna do too much with it, sadly. Okay, they don't feel like they're making gains anymore, which is great. Uh, are you winning now? You are wonderful. Was I maybe looking at the wrong nation when I said somebody was losing? No? Russia was definitely losing. I gotta deal with the whole sieging back of my own high-level forts. Which is not gonna be a particularly easy or fun thing to do. You know, go there, kill that, and then go back. Maybe if you sink an Ottoman fleet it'll help. Okay, you didn't sink it, nor did you really do much in terms of getting us a war score. Now I'm hopeful that you guys will be able to deal with this UAE military or army with relative ease. We are going to have a penalty as a result of crossing a river. And you guys are actually almost on the verge of getting... There we go, wonderful, it helped. But I still need about 20 war score. I doubt uh, taking Constantinople would help much. Do they have a fort here? They don't actually have a fort in Constantinople. Uh, technically, actually, it should be obviously Istanbul, but for whatever reason, the mod doesn't have the name changed to Istanbul when it's Turkey that controls it. I can understand it's still being Constantinople with the uh, Ottomans, but uh, we got the Turks now, so yeah, doesn't make much sense in my opinion, but whatever. You know what? Uh, can you not get there because of hostile forts? If that's a hostile fort blocking you, is there any way? Oh, god damn it, game. Not the fucking time to have poor uniforms. Did they really go and siege? Why? What the fuck was the reason for doing that? Outside of a, because we can. Which, I mean, in my opinion, is not the best reason to do something. Game, you can stop giving me the emigration every three seconds. I think I fucking get it by now. People are leaving the country. Thank you. The f 
fuck is Gondor? Oh, your capital, you took it back. Also, it's not Gondor. It's Gondir. Whatever. It's fucking Gondor from now on. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, suck on them apples, rock. I can poof my armies out of existence. Well, not really, but you get the point. No, you go to Gabon. I mean, taking their capital is apparently worthless in a coalition war. Which I personally think is stupid. But yes, apparently it is worthless. Oh yes, and now I gotta deal with that stupid change of... <sighs> the fact that if you own both sides of a strait, it doesn't matter if there's a fleet there. Apparently you built a bridge or a tunnel across that strait and that's what your troops used to cross i think that's a stupid change that they made to eu4 many updates ago i really do because i can't think of a reason for that change to make sense how much chicken war score can i get? only six okay i think you guys are gonna get this part and making up for last week in this part so uh yeah wasn't planning to do that but that's what's gonna end up happening it seems good you got that go ahead and land there and admittedly we're not too far away from being able to get a uh white piece just really all I care for whenever I fight a coalition war that is the only thing I care about is getting at least a white piece I don't generally bother trying to take shit during a coalition war it's too much a pain in the ass if coalition war is gonna require me to beat the crap out of everybody involved to take even just a single province maybe I'd be willing to take stuff in coalition wars but I'll oh, ban the publication who cares you can take that by yourself because I don't really have any troops that I can send to help you siege that back how oh, good you can it'll take you a while but you can do it by yourself good okay we're almost there oh, good we got your Gibraltar back Just need about two more war score, which will either mean ticking. Are we still getting the ticking? We should be. Yes. Or just sieging back enough of my provinces. Whichever happens first. Ethiopia has gotten exhausted as a result of fighting this war now. So they're finally a little bit more willing. God damn it. Okay, that didn't really change much though, luckily. Go siege that back. Damn it. 
Never mind, go take that fort. Is there a navy you can go and beat the crap out of? Doesn't look like it. Go down here and get those guys off the island. It's safe enough on the mainland for them to do something useful. I'm guessing the UAE is hurting in, uh, in terms of manpower as well. Oh, damn it, we lost some of our stuff. We're taking provinces. Wonderful, that helped, but it's still not quite enough on its own, but hopefully it taking the neighboring provinces. It'll be just the thing I need. Yeah, 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 game, I know, I know, I know. of a war score or something for them to decide hey yes let's have peace obviously this war is going to hurt us but uh, it'll clearly just further dictate why we need a fascist dictatorship in charge Taking some of your money. Fuck you guys. Ha! Huh, I still get 264 of it. ships, but that's fine. Now hopefully this won't result in, oh, I don't know, a certain South African nation deciding to get ballsy. Why does the U.S. have Belize? Did they always have it? I don't know. I don't think they did. And I've always seen Belize represented as being owned by the uh, British. I don't know if Mexico maybe owned it at the start and the US took it in their war against Mexico. I don't know why you would. I certainly wouldn't. Because it's just a province that's going to get occupied right at the start of a war with Mexico. So there's no logical reason, in my opinion, to own Belize on its own. Whatever. Uh, yes, economy in the gutters, manpower completely non-existent, nothing I can really do to fix that. Yeah, this will be fun. I said, not meaning it in the slightest. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this part, though. <laughs> God damn, I really fucking hate coalition wars. I'll be completely honest with you, I do. Yes, I know I can avoid them if I pay attention to my aggressive expansion with my neighbors and make sure that none of the bigger neighbors get pissed off at me enough to be willing to join a coalition. 
Uh, or at least I need to make sure enough of the bigger neighbors don't get pissed off because I mean Ethiopia's sizable on their own they wouldn't join the, they wouldn't form a coalition unless they thought they could get the UAE Syria Iraq and Turkey to join and no oh, guess who they managed to get to join the UAE Iraq Syria and Turkey um, yeah uh, Iran here is a, a crap person they do want to have an alliance they're willing to have an alliance though uh, but I don't think they'd really be much help I really don't at the end of the day they're they're just not worth it they really aren't because they would just drag me into war with uh, Iraq and I don't want to go to war with Iraq right now I'm gonna go to war with you again uh, well, right now, if I wanted to, but... It, oh, no, actually, I can't. I have a truce with you. Ah, 21-24. Okay. Thought I already could, but never mind. I could declare a war on you right now. It'd be a terrible idea, but it's technically doable. But since it's a terrible idea, we won't be doing it, obviously. It's, uh... Local autonomy. Got to do a little bit of this now, it looks like, up north. In uh, Britain, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're going to need to do this in uh, back home. Because they're all understandably pissed off for having been occupied for quite a while. I can't really say I blame them. Most people would be pissed off as well. But guys, I only had one army up here. And if anything, it was just there to scare off Ireland if for whatever reason I was to get into a war that would result in me being able to take over Ireland. That won't happen because to do that I would need to go to war with the whole of the EU and I sure as hell ain't doing that uh, but yes so like I said uh, that's it for this part a uh, reminder if you want to pick up the make America British again shirt link to it in the description uh, while you're down there there's also a link to my patreon if you want to become one uh, as well as a link to my discord channel if you wish to join it uh, obviously none of those are required but the case of the patreon it's appreciated in the case of the discord it's where i generally post first for anything regarding the channel um because it's just faster it's right there and it doesn't take like three button presses to get down to it uh, like it does for patreon uh nor does it have a character limit like twitter does so yeah but yeah so i mean Join the discord is helpful if you want to be able to get updates on what's going on with the channel because like I said it's where I will generally post first but yes with that uh, also the wire down there link to buy EU4 if you want to via Green Man Gaming and uh, Humble as well affiliate links obviously uh, again not needed but it's appreciated if you do do it because it helps support the channel that, like I said, doesn't get any ad revenue, so the channel gets no support. Uh, which, of course, means that I need to be a little bit more frugal with my spending for things that have any real regard to the channel. I can't be doing the whole being a little bit riskier with buying a game, thinking, oh, maybe they'll enjoy it, and then turns out, not really. Uh, but yes, so I will see you all in the next part, but until then, a goodbye and a farewell.